Hi, my name is Nicole Hamilton. I'm a physiotherapist and what I'd like to share with you is just a very basic instruction on how to switch your core on correctly without doing the wrong things which can add to problems elsewhere. Now your core muscle is part of what supports your lower back and also supports your pelvis. It's not the only thing that you need to prevent back pain, so it's not the be all and end all, uh, but knowing how to activate it the right way is pretty important. So there's a couple of ways I can teach you. One way of switching on the core is to imagine that you're stopping a pee. So if you can imagine very gently drawing in your bladder muscle, what you should feel is if you find your hip bone on the outside and just palpate with your fingers just in a little, when you activate your bladder muscle, pretending that you're stopping a pee, you should feel a little bit of tension in your lower abdominals because your pelvic floor and your lower abdominals tend to work together. So that's one way of switching on the core. Another way of switching on the core is if you can imagine your two front hip bones gently drawing together and that will also activate your transversus or your core muscle. Now the most common errors that we see as physiotherapists which can lead to problems down the track. First common error, clenching the bum or tucking the tailbone under or flattening the back. Now if you do this repeatedly when you're trying to switch on your core, you're essentially training yourself to put more pressure on your lower back discs to flatten your lower back, which is actually not very natural, and also to tighten up all of your hip muscles in a, in a tonic way, which is never going to be great for your hips either. It can also add to coccyx pain. So all these things can happen if you tend to clench or tuck under, so don't do that. Keep your buttock muscles relaxed. Just think of the muscles at the front very gently. Now the other common error that can tend to occur is your tummy popping out. So if you lift your head just a little off the floor, your tummy will pop out. I don't want that to happen when you're switching on your core. So when you lift your bladder muscle and pretend like you're stopping a your pee, your core muscle will come on really gently. Remember, it doesn't do a lot of work. It's pretty light. Your tummy shouldn't pop out. If it's popping out, you're probably just trying way too hard. So keep it gentle. This muscle works no harder than your shoelaces do when you tie up your shoes um, to keep your shoe on. So just really gentle. The last mistake that people commonly make is holding their breath, which essentially means if you're learning to switch on your core muscles to help your lower back and you're holding your breath, that means the only time your back has got support is when you're not breathing, which is never going to work for a long period of time. So make sure you can breathe, make sure your tummy's not popping out and make sure your back's not flat flattening and your butt's not clenching. These are the areas that are very common. Keep it really light and gentle and that's a great way to start switching on your core.